Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial and in this one we are going to be making um, a sky and, and adding the lights and everything to make it look realistic we are going to be doing this on top of uh, the FPS um, game that we made earlier so let's get to it now first thing you want to do is just go to default because we're not going to be using any logic bricks um, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, delete these point lights just delete them and just leave this one and go to your uh, light settings here and change it to Sun and leave it there for now um, the other thing I'm gonna do is select the floor go to edit mode and scale it up and leave it like that maybe a bit more okay now the other thing is hit shift s cursor to center and add shift a and add a uv sphere um, you can change some of the settings here like the segments and make it more detailed uh, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is uh, so go to edit mode and scale it up 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 like that S make sure it covers a wide area um, so uh, now go to object mode and set the shading to smooth so it's nice and smooth and now go to edit mode and with everything selected hit control F is gonna bring this m menu here and select the first option flip normals so now it's pointing inwards uh, because this is going to be the sky basically um, so now um, let's add the texture to it uh, but first we have to uh, UV unwrap so just go to edit mode hit number 7 to go to top view make sure you're in orthographic and hit U to unwrap and then project from U so now if we add a material to this sphere and add a texture it's going to be image or movie and for this to work you need to have a uh, sort of a sky dome texture it looks like this it's just a sphere spherical sky I can show you um, you can download them online they're free uh, I'll leave you a link at the description so once you have it and you've unwrapped your UV uh, make sure to go to your UV editing and select the image down here so now you see that the UVs are quite small uh, so you should scale them up by hitting S make sure to stay within the lines just scale them up and we're good to go Now do you see that this um, specular is doesn't look very good so just turn down the intensity of this specular. Now if we press 0 to go to camera view and hit P you can't see the sky. The reason is uh, select the camera under the camera settings there is a clipping uh, value. There is the starting value and there is the ending value the ending value is by default set to 100 uh, which can be low um, like in this case just push it upwards like that now if you hit P you see the sky but it's terrible it's not lit and it doesn't look good so escape out um, now with the sphere selected under the material settings um, under shading bring out this emit 
value looks like emission so now it's brighter uh, so bring it about 0.8 or you can just click shadeless it's up to you okay now hit P okay. I can look around I can see the sky and there's the Sun okay so I save now the other thing you need to do uh, is that light that we left earlier make sure it's the same as the same angle as the Sun so there's the Sun and there's light and you can see that it's not pointing the same way so just point yourself at the Sun's direction and hit control alt not control uh, alt R to clear the rotation of the um, the light the Sun and just hit R twice so remember you have to be facing the Sun and then push up like that so now it's pointing towards us okay um, you can bring it down like that so okay and maybe change the, um, the color of the Sun color oh, it's white okay um, now you can see that uh, there is no shadows uh, because the Sun needs to be here I guess okay let's change the let's change this back to Okay, bring down the base a bit. I just leave it one. Okay. Ending. And just turn there. Okay. Now we have shadows. Um, next thing you want to do is with the sun selected, hit Shift D to duplicate it and hit alt r to clear the rotation and change it to hemisphere under here this is going to be the same color as the, the sky so just click on the color here and click this uh, sample color option here and just click on the sky like that and you can see that we have some blue to our shadows um, which is more realistic now we have to duplicate this sphere again and hit RX 90 and the color is going to be the, the horizon so just sample the horizon like that and bring down the energy a bit like that okay and then duplicate it once more and hit R Z and then 180 so flip it like that so now the uh, the lights are looking better now if I, if I were to hit P to play uh, I can uh, walk towards the edge over there you would see that there is a problem if I look back you see that the sky has gone haywire it's messed up so the way to fix this is basically the uh, the camera clipping again it's it's too low and the sky is just is big and when you're moving the camera over here the distance is too big now the way to fix this uh, there is uh, the simple way is just by increasing the clipping but then you'd have a lot of other problems too like the the sky um, like you would if the scene was big enough bigger than the sky itself the bigger than the sphere you would actually come out of the sphere the sphere so to fix this select the sphere and shift hold down shift and select the main cube 
the FPS cube and hit control P vertex okay so now the the sphere is going to be following the cube but it will not rotate with it so if I hit P to play I can walk start walking running if I go to the edge I look back and this guy is still in its place but the objects are disappearing if I walk back and they start to appear now this is not realistic of course and the the objects they just pop into the scene like that because they're walk just passing through this sphere to avoid this uh, the best solution is to add a mist so it sort of blends in the scene a bit so just check mist um, first of all uh, under the horizon of the world setting horizon color sample color and just choose the horizon of your uh, sphere image and check mist now you can see that the mist is way too thick so increase the starting value increase the depth a bit and um, minimum intensity is basically uh, how much of uh, the mist is actually in here already so just I like to put this at point uh, zero two five like that settle if you hit P you can look around but one option is that the sky is not looking good it's like a blurred out um, the way to fix it is basically select the sky the UV sphere and go to material settings under the uh, options there's this little option here that says use mist so just uncheck it like that so the sky will not be affected by the mist so the sky remains like that maintains its colors and we have the mist uh, so now I'm going to change the color of the ground because it's a bit weird at the moment uh, add a material bring down the intensity value and change it to a dark brown like that or maybe like that okay um, let's try and uh, test this mist okay I'm just walking I look back the objects are still there And they've disappeared. If I walk back towards them, and you can see that the mist adds some realistic look to your uh, scene. You can even scale this sphere a bit bigger, um, or make the mist thicker by bringing down the start value. Okay. So basically that's that. Um, one other thing, you can see that uh, when the player uh, walks by the sun and uh, is far from the sun, there is no shadow. Now to avoid this problem, we need to do what we did with the sky. So select the sun, the sun, not the hemis. The hemisphere doesn't matter where it's located it's always going to be casting its light just select the sun and then shift select the cube and hit control P vertex now this isn't perfect because you see what when we're moving the um, for instance in here the shadow here is basically moving with uh, with us that might not be uh, realistic 
if, to avoid this I uh, just increase the quality of the shadow I have a I have a low-end PC so I won't do that so that blender doesn't crash so basically that's it for today's video um, I hope you learned something um, and I will see you in another video